Thanks for tuning in, everybody. YouTube channel here, Slinging Dirt Media, DJ Smallwood with Chuck McWilliams. This this is a true honor. I mean, not too many people get to record and do stuff in the Hall of Fame. I'm fortunate enough to get to sit here with Hall of Fame driver Chuck McWilliams and his car in the background. If you've ever watched any of our episodes, you know that we like to have the guys race cars as the backdrop. I just think it's a cool, cool looking shot. And here here we are. Yeah, it's a it's a beautiful car. It, I think it looks better than it did when we raced it. <laughs> it's it's probably more of a showpiece now than it was back then. Exactly. They they don't stay, you know. I feel like most race cars look good as soon as you build them. Man, they look beautiful. Ten minutes on the racetrack, and that's that's all out the window. You know, there used to be a guy come here. I don't know who he was. He just loved racing. He had a Ford. He was queer for Fords. And <laughs> yeah. He we had, he'd run around when we was hot lapping. He said, "Come over here, rub, put a wheel mark on a car." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I never did do that because I don't want to cut a tire. Right. But I, I thought that guy's nuts. <laughs> he wanted a wheel mark on it. He just wanted to look like he'd been Le racing. Real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So while we are recording, you know, there are going to be people coming through the Hall of Fame, things like that. So if you see somebody walk through, hey, it's just people checking out the hall of fame <laughs> so this you said this was not your first race car you drove a little bit before this guy my first race car was like a 49 plymouth 49 plymouth it wow. lasted one race yeah blowed the motor and uh of course is a flathead six yeah yeah yeah. it's not really the best race car <laughs> right so then i started to look around for a flathead ford right and i found a sedan and not knowing what to do we took the body instead of putting the motor in the coop uh, it was it was true we went backwards some way yeah and uh i run that sedan for a while and then we we didn't have much luck with that motor it was an old flathead uh, a guy that i bought it from supposedly ran at the old cincinnati rose bowl okay in a modified i heard, I heard stories about the place a little before oh, my time very fast yeah very fast. Oh, I remember. Remember Nelson Stacy? I knew the name. Okay, yeah. he he ran that division. Okay. Before he he won Charlotte. Really. But uh, after he won Charlotte, the owner of the car says, "Now we can either go on or retire." And they sh <laughs> shut her down. Shut her down. Yeah. So did you get to? Did you ever do any asphalt racing, or was you mostly look? No, I ran Daytona. I thought that you ran three some times. Really. And I run a third. That's the best I've done down there. The track will scare you. Really? I mean, I, I'm just be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And old Ralph Latham, he would run there a couple of times. He says, just remember, you're the ones pushing the pedal down. Yeah. You, you just. How, how cool is that? Yeah. Well, as you go down the back stretch, the wind pressure make, pushes the hood down against a breather. Yeah. It just seems strange. But, uh. I enjoyed it. I ran up at KIR in Indianapolis. It's about a five-eighths mile blacktop. Right. And I think I run a third up there with the USAC guys. Right. And uh, that's about the only – well, I went to Dayton, Ohio once. That track's terrible. <laughs> terrible. I was up there when the Jim Herdebees went over the back wall. Right. And uh, fortunately, there's a bunch of old trees there that caught him. Yeah. And he come climbing back up the hill. Yeah. Eddie Sachs was there, and you know. Right. But that's a terrible track. That's the only three blacktop tracks. You you got to. Yeah. Be a part of. Yeah. Uh, I remember. I remember when I was a kid. A lot of your races here at the old Northern Kentucky, and then it turned to Florence. You know, it was a lot of battles with you and Pat Patrick and, and Vern Lefevers in those days. You know, you're that, talking early mid mid 80s kind of stuff. Yeah, excuse me. And then, uh, you know, this track used to be blacktop. Yeah. Oh, this one did. Yeah. Really? And they run go-karts here. I remember the go-kart track they had out back <laughs> and, years ago. Uh, and then they, they peel that up and run back to dirt, and then it's full of rocks. Right. You yeah. Know, yeah. It seems they, like they still they, have rocks out there. It took a lot forever to get them picked out. Yeah. But, uh. After we run here a few times, and we went at the old track Glen Esty up in yeah, Ohio. Yeah, and I remember uh, a lot of the Glen Esty stories too. It's, again, it's one of those before well, my time. I'll tell you a quick one if you don't want to care. Uh, Floyd Gilbert. Yeah. 
was running second behind me. He drove a big old Hudson. They must have 300 cubic inches. And uh, can you hear that? <laughs> Does that sound good? <laughs> and then he uh, he was following me, and boy, he clipped me and turned me over about three times. Really? So I got, I got out on the track. Well, he didn't come around. He stopped over in the front chute, <laughs> and I broke something off the front bumper, a piece of pipe. You know, cut across the infield. <laughs> Cop, stop, stop. I said, I'll take your gun away from you and shoot you. <laughs> so then old Floyd went on down, parked in the number one yeah, corner. Yeah, he, he, he knew to get away from you. <laughs> <laughs> Had a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Now, I, I got a, a, a story that I got to ask you about. I was talking to a guy the other day, and this would have been one of the early, probably north-south races you guys were in. He said they did the whole driver introduction on the racetrack. He's sitting in the car. You come walking by his car and just kick his right front tire. I can't remember that, but it's, it's, Dar I don't Dar doubt Her it. Daryl Herbert said you just, he said the whole race, he's like, why did he do that? Why, <laughs> I don't, why did he kick my tire? Messing with his mind. Messing with his mind. So it I got tell you head. something else, old Tea Garden. Yeah, Billy Tea Garden. If, if they pull us around, and line us up in the front straightaway, he'd never look at you. Right. He wouldn't turn his head for nothing. Really? Usually you give him a high sign or something. You yeah, know. yeah, He's, he was just uh, focused. Not him. <laughs> That's something. But that was a long time ago. So a couple years. Yeah. Oh, wow. I would have had to guess that would have been mid or late 80s. Do what? Mid or late 80s, I, I would guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you went. You, you know he's still living. What's that? T guard. Yeah, yeah. And he looks pretty good. Yeah, I, he's one of those guys I got to get on the show. He's got all his hair. <laughs> yeah, he still looks like an Indian. <laughs> <laughs> I yep. seen him flip pretty bad here once too in a sprint car. Yeah. He went clear out of number one. Right. Upper. Huh. Yeah. Those those were some good days. Those were race cars back then. Yeah. Way, way different than the, I'm not saying we don't have race cars now but man those things were a different animal back then well I gotta give you another I'm kind of proud of myself I was running second behind Tea Garden okay and uh, the track got dusty and dusty you couldn't hardly see so they stopped the racing yeah brought the water trucks out yeah and that's when they, when they didn't have a wall the bank it was a bank yeah and uh <clears throat> I thought, well, that bank's dry. They didn't water it. It ain't muddy. <laughs> so they dropped a green flag. I went around the outside end so fast he thought he was tied. <laughs> and I won a race. His brother come out of the truck shaking a fist at Billy. <laughs> I was so happy I did that. Right. Because I knew it's dry. It ain't soaking up no more. Right, right. So, and one time at uh, Eldora. Not, yeah, Eldor. It might have been the Johnny Appleseed race. I was leading it. Now, I can't think who was second behind me, like Ray Godsey or some of those guys. Right. And uh, the temperature come up. I thought, well, I know. I'm, somebody told me this. The yellow flag come out. So I'd get out and rev it up a little and turn the key off. Uh-huh. And hold my foot on the gas, run that gasoline through it. Yeah. And it cooled it down 20 degrees right off the bat. Really? So then I got, after we got ready to start, then I won the race. But it was getting ready to get hot. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see that as being a place, man, those old old engines back then just heating up. I uh, I should have won the first World 100. Really? I was leading about just four or five laps to go. Yeah. And uh, beautiful car. Pretty as that thing. Yeah. Jerry Valance from up in uh, Hamilton, Ohio, owned it. Rob, do you yeah. want to close that door? Do you, will it help? Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> and, uh. Yeah. So, how, how was the gasoline running through it? When you, you said you were cooling it off. Way back there. Yeah. We'll see if this helps a little bit. Okay, you were talking about when it was overheating. Yeah. You'd shut it off and hold your foot on the floor to run the gasoline through it. What was the gasoline going through? What about it? Just going through the 
Oh, well, it's just like washing it out. Oh, okay. Like going through the uh, uh, carburetor and stuff. Yeah, yeah, just okay. washing it out. Yeah, 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 okay. I thought he'd be like through the yeah, <laughs> probably. Yeah, that's like that's a new it's, one. It's a wonder it didn't foul the plugs out, but right, it didn't. right. But the first race I was leading, and uh, Seneca, Bob Senek was up on a truck watching. Yeah. And somebody said something. He said he's going to be making about a half a second a lap on the second place <laughs> goal, which was Bruce Gould. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And doggone, the uh, upper hose come off. The radiator. And pumped all the oil out. Oh, man. And I had to stop. Boy, that was so disgusting. I, the first one. <laughs> the very first one. Yeah. Now, I, I didn't know this. I heard this probably just like within the last week or so, that they had, like, before the very first World 100, the year before that, they had, a, like, an identical race, paid the same amount of money, but it just didn't have a name. They didn't name it or anything. They didn't name it until the second year. Then it became the World's 100. Like, I never knew that. I never heard that story before. That's probably true. Yeah, somebody I, yeah. just told me that. Yeah, that's huh. probably true. Yeah. Old Baltus hit the promoter up there. He's a, yeah. He's a fine old man. Yeah. Yeah, I, I always liked his philosophy. <laughs> he said, if I could just sell one more hot dog, I'd make it. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I wonder, I, that must be where Jerry Keene got it from. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If he just sold one more hamburger, he... he <laughs> He'd been all right. And now Josh is doing that. Yeah. <laughs> if he could just so one more beer at the bar, he yeah. we'd have broke even. <laughs> uh, yeah. no, they uh Josh is doing good. They're doing a lot of good stuff here at Florida. They are the it's amazing. Is, this track everybody's worried about him taking over, but he's doing fine. Yeah, he's 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 one got a good the, head on his shoulders. One of the best things they ever did is put lights in here. That was really bud. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, the, pl uh, the place has changed a lot over the years. Yeah, oh, it certainly has. A wall. Yeah, yeah. Remember, the old, you had, it was old guardrails back when you were racing, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I went over three and four once, me and old Vern Lefevre fighting. <laughs> yeah, he crowded me, and I hit the, the, the old uh, guardrails laying out. Yeah. And it was like using a ramp. I went up over that thing, went down that hill out there between three and four, and Heck, this thing's still running. Uh, so I drove <laughs> around there, and the pits used to be in the over here. Mm -hmm. And they jerked the hood off and jerked the fender off, and I went back out there and kept on racing. I don't know what I did. Yeah. <laughs> but I thought, Vern, that sucker. <laughs> he says I hit him, you know. Yeah. There, was, there was a story. It was uh, Pierce Foster was telling me. And I think now I. You this, can't believe him. You sure? <laughs> I, I I don't think that guy would tell me wrong. <laughs> now here's what I can't remember: if it was if he was the guy who rolled over, and Pierce Pierce will tell me this. So either somebody hit him, and he rolled over sideways, or rolled over, and landed on its tires, and they're still running. And he just stayed on the gas, kept going. Well, they naturally they threw the caution and red flag. So when they threw the caution, he was like running, fighting for first and second. So the guy that hit him and was running next to, they pulled up and stopped on a front stretch. And then Pierce pulled up beside him. The guy looked at him and was like, how'd you just pull up next to me? He said, you were just rolling over there in turn two, you know? I can't remember if Pierce was the one who rolled over or if he hit somebody and they rolled over and then he pulled up next to him. I think it was Pierce told me he I'm was the guy. ask him about that. Yeah, yeah. That old, that old bird, he'll, he'll yeah. tell you some whoppers, won't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got some stories. We we got pretty tight through yeah. years. Yeah. Didn't race each other a lot, but we won a lot of places. I heard he was a good basketball player. You know, he's only got one eye. Yeah, yeah. He got that thing clawed out in a high school game. Is that what it was? Yeah. And he didn't he just kept playing. He didn't know and they went yeah. there halftime. He looked at the mirrors all red. But it it didn't it's done hemorrhage. He yeah. done it ruined it, but I've been I've been a lot of plays with him, Daytona yeah. and everything. And yeah, uh, Pier Pierce, a good old guy. He is. Yeah. He's. You know where he's from? Uh, Norwood. No, that's where he did that's, live. Okay. He's from down at, uh, God dang, below Somerset. Uh, Corbin area, like uh, or um, oh man, Burnside. No. Right there by Lake Cumberland. Uh, it's on down. It's okay. on down. But anyway, I'll think of it in a little bit, but. Uh, when he drives, we went to Florida a lot. 
Yeah. He's only got one eye. Yeah. But he is a good driver. Does, does he turn uh, his head? He's the one I can sleep in there yeah. while he drove. Yeah. I can't do that very often. No. <laughs> no. Fall Bush, Kentucky. Yeah. That that's it. Yeah. He yeah. told he told me one time because my dad only had one eye. He said, "Well, your dad probably knows this." He said, "I turned my head." just a little bit he said now my one eye is right in center he says i can see better with one eye and you came with two and i'm like i don't know that i believe that but old, <laughs> old pierce word. he can hit this shot and over on his side he can sure he can burn yeah. it up yeah i played ball with him probably 10 years yeah and i said all you do is shoot why don't you get up here and get the rebounds once in a while <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he just laughed shot it. away from that one yeah so what would uh what was your favorite race? What would have been your favorite race if you oh can? Oh boy! When do you can remember? I got two or three. <laughs> I got time. <laughs> Knoxville, Iowa. Okay. I run a USAC race, a hundred laps. Yeah. And uh, pretty good drivers in See, it. See, I never knew you did any sprint car stuff. No, no, it's late models. USAC late models. Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, uh, I just ran good, and I didn't stop. Some of them Butch Harp, and some of them guys yeah. stopped, got tires. And I guess I just lucked in. So I won, and they was interviewing me. And while they were interviewing me, the right rear tire went down. <laughs> in victory lane. So that means I only had about two laps left. Yeah, yeah. So that's how the, the hand of fate yeah. works on you. <laughs> but now I, I raced at Tri-County some big races. And, uh, 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 shoot, I can't think of his name. Looked like a bulldog. Big old guy drove USAC cars. Mm. He was leading. I was running second. I said, this ain't going to happen, man. So I pulled Josh Rice on him. <laughs> Went in number three, and I never let off. I got against a fence. Yeah. I blowed him by the outside of him. He was so mad. <laughs> I wish I could think of his name. Uh, but anyway, I won that race. That was about a maybe a hundred lapper. Yeah. I don't know. But I don't know. I just had a lot of fun. Yeah. Had a lot of fun. Run up in Ohio, way up there. Was leading a race up there, and a guy hit me and flipped me. Huh. So I've been upside down a few times. A couple times, yeah. Yeah. I usually always come back on my feet, though, on my wheels. But right. The only thing that ever worried me was fire. Yeah, I, 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 I was running a Ford out there one time. We bought from Jim Cook in Newtown. Yeah. Dang, gone is a good car. Six owner. We was out running T Garden V8s and everything was, else. Would was, was this been the Yellow Zero? Yeah. 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 And and I went in down this home stretch here, went in on first corner, and I let off. It always backfired one time. Yeah. It's like a signal. Yeah. So I got back in it, and as soon as I did, it lit up. And what happened, it, it had broken a fuel line off. Mm -hmm. So when it backfired, it lit that thing yeah. up. Well, I went out the right door. And people in the stands saw I was still in the car. Oh, it was they, scary, but yeah, I done got out of that thing. Now, that's a, that's another car that had some good drivers, some famous drivers in that car. Yeah. Won, won some big races. Uh, Latham? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Ralph Latham. Yeah. And uh, he kind of had that sewed up. And then once in some time, uh, who's the other guy who got in it? Um, I, Sh he shot himself. Oh, gosh. Does that ring a bell? Yeah, it does, but it doesn't. <laughs> That's a shame. Shame I, I, I can't think of. I'm, I'm, I'm the same way. Okay, so I remember uh, it was Jim and Ed Cook, the brothers. Yeah. Cook brothers. Yeah. And... Uh, I think Pierce Foster drove for them some too. He I know, did. I know he drove a late model for uh, for Ed Cook there for a while. Uh, this would have been way <laughs> way later on. Um, Fifty six or seven. Oh God, no! This was probably maybe in the nineties. Oh. Uh, he had a late model and had number six on. Jay White. Jay White. Jay White. Yeah, Jay White was another one. Yeah. 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 And I always thought, boy, if I could drive for Cook, I yeah. never would get the opportunity. We went down to Louisville one time, ran on a horse track, white sand. Uh-huh. And he, old Jim got up against the fence. He'd fall fat in the back of his head. Yeah. 
and that sand was coming there like a sandblaster. Uh. Somebody said, Jim, you got sand all over your... He said, that's knowledge, boy. <laughs> that's knowledge. <laughs> oh, that's good. And the wrinkles. You know yeah, I mean? it, get, the, get the knowledge and the wrinkles. That's, that's knowledge. Yeah. Oh, I could tell you stories all night. Oh, man. I wish we had more time. I, that's, that's good stuff. I mean, it's those, those stories like that. It's yeah. Someday these stories ain't going to be around if, if we don't get good, good people to tell them to us. Exactly. You know, you know? and that was, that's my whole idea is having this and doing this kind of stuff is try to get some of these old stories and just keep them going you know well one time i was in i've been in some pretty good cars old yeah. calvin kennedy yeah old calvin yeah i was coming around here leading a race and a guy up in indiana i can't think of the name he was running second okay yeah i come by the pits used to be in the back here mm -hmm. and i come around here all of a sudden i hit the edge of a wall went up in the air and what the heck happened? I didn't. It something in the right front broke, and okay. I went right into the wall. Old Calvin thought I wrecked it. He thought I did on purpose. That piece of junk fell apart. It wasn't <laughs> my fault. But but pieces. They said pieces flew everywhere. Yeah, yeah. But fortunately, I never. I ain't been hurt. I'm just missed getting a rock in the head one time. I think at Tri County, it hit the roll bar. Uh huh put a big dent in a roll bar yeah so if it hit me that would have uh, hurt because you didn't have helmets back then like the helmets no, we got now no been all open face stuff wasn't it right <laughs> and uh who's the critton got killed up trying uh, gene yeah but yeah. he took one right in the face they think it was, they said some kind of weight off of a car Oof. that's Gosh. terrible bad yeah. bad deal one thing about it he didn't know Right. Once, once it hit him, he's terrible. Yeah. Now you had some you had some boys that was pretty successful racing too. Audie, Audie, yeah. Audie was pretty good, but he had a good ride. Yeah. And yeah. That, that means everything to get an owner to trust you. And, yeah. And he won a championship here. And Michael at the time, uh, Petty or somebody come out with another class. Okay. And you could buy a kit and put the car together. It's, it's yeah, I forget what they call them, sportsmen or. Oh something. yeah, 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 the sportsman cars back then. <laughs> and here I didn't. Things now I wish I'd have done different, but I was probably here racing, Audi was racing, and Mike was out of town. Yeah. And uh, so I, he won all kind of races. And they said he won like ten or twelve in a row. Really. But. I wasn't with him. You wasn't I there. I really miss that. Right, right. I feel bad about that. No, I I actually turned some laps with David in, uh, in modifieds. Yeah, I mean, back when I used to drive modifieds, and David was in a modified. So I got the I got a little door to door experience with David. <laughs> David was always a good man, fun, funny guy. I always like. He, he, he is the most happy go lucky yeah. guy. Yeah. I don't know that I ever seen him in a bad mood. He don't worry about nothing. Yeah. Uh, Pierce, you know, Pierce Foster says. You could drop in the middle of the desert with no money, and he'd survive. <laughs> he probably would. <laughs> he'd come out smelling like a rose somehow. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I, ain't, I haven't seen Dave in a while. I think he's still living out in Bethel, don't he? he yeah, he's, he's, he drives a motorcycle now. Okay. He sold his mod. His, yeah, he used to race dirt bikes a lot. Yeah, he still does. He's, still a, bear, does. he's a bear, buddy. Yeah, he's a big old boy. Not only, well, he can almost pick the bike up and put yeah. it where he wants it i know this has been a not that long ago but a few years ago he rolled and wrecked one pretty bad down at uh, portsmouth and oh that was really bad yeah that was real bad and i, I know i said i said man dave's a big healthy boy i said if that had been a little guy somebody my size or smaller would have wrecked like that it probably killed I, killed me i thought he was hurt boy I, uh, yeah. who was i just telling you that wrecked as I wrecked out here. Um, up, he loved me. He loved up. Well, anyway, his son called me. His son works for World Outlaws. Uh, oh, Calvin. Calvin, his yeah, son. Yeah, yeah, Kenny. He called me up. Kenny called me up. He says, he said, Chuck, uh, David had a little accident, but I talked, they flew him up to, up in Michigan, up in, West Virginia, Huntington. Okay. okay. 
they flew him up there, but I think he's okay. He was talking to me before he yeah. left. I yeah. thought he could be telling me that. Right, right. So here it is, midnight. Do I drive to Huntington? Or do I wait? Or do I wait? I don't know what to do. Yeah. Boy, you don't know what to do. Yeah. I mean, it's a pretty good ride up there when it's 2 or 3 in the morning. Right, right. That's when you pick up the phone and say, Audie, so, come pick me up. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so the next morning, his girlfriend called me, said I was talking to him. He had tubes in his throat, but he picked that, pulled them out. Daggone, he got out of the house, possible the next day. Yeah. And then he had to go get his car. Somebody hauled it in for him. Whew. But he, he, when that thing, he, he threw it in the corner of the right rear tire bit, you know. Yeah, yeah. And when it flipped, that car come apart. Did you see it? I seen it, yeah. Car come apart, Just man. Fl it flung, the, flung it in pieces. That seat was probably in 15 cars. Gosh. Yeah. So it was full yeah. of so drilled so many holes <laughs> in it. it was, they call that lightweight. <laughs> Weight reduction. <laughs> So, that's what David would say. He yeah. said, oh, it's just lighter that way. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's, just, it's faster that way. That's exactly <laughs> that's, right. You know, that's what he would have said. So he's really fortunate on that. Yeah. I, I'm yeah. glad he quit. My, my dad, when my, my girls were a little younger, he had, he had a go-kart. I raced go-karts when I was a kid a little bit, and that's how I got started with the bad disease. <laughs> so he, my dad, when I had girls, he bought them a go-kart. I said, oh, no. No, that thing was gone the next day. I brought in soccer balls and pom poms and roller skates and <laughs> anything but a go kart. Cheerleaders. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Haley played basketball and uh, softball, and uh, Kenzie played soccer and a little bit of softball. And yeah, that's good. And cheerleader. Yeah, Kenzie cheerleaded too. Yeah. God, that's one thing I didn't have to worry about. <laughs> ah, well, it's been fun. Yeah. It has, man. It's been it's fun. it's been a lot of fun. I mean, I, I don't regret it, but I just, man, I'm just glad that my kids didn't right have to do what I did. Oh, <laughs> learn 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 some hard things the way that I did. <laughs> well, sometimes I wonder if I spent too much time and not enough with my family. Yeah, <laughs> and I told tell my wife about that before she passed away. She said, your kids had a good life. Yeah. She said, you took them camping, took them to Cumberland, you know. But you still think about that. You know, yeah. Here they grow up and you're gone. But everything worked out. Yeah, I think that's just that's part of life. You always sometimes second guess some Regret. of your choices. Yeah. And I, I do that now. I'm 45 years old now, and I'm like, what could I have done better, you know? But I always tell people I am my own worst critic. I, I will sit and pick myself apart way worse than somebody else will. <laughs> well, don't quit just because you're 45. Yeah, I, I feel like that just pushes you to make you better, you know? Yeah. I, I hope that what, what I'm doing here is just the start, and it gets better. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Well, who knows? Yeah, we'll see. We'll I hope see. I hope for you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I hope your family, friends, and people that have watched the race over the years, I hope they get to watch this and like, man, that was that was a good episode, you know, something to get the That'd I remember be. Chuck racing against I remember when Chuck drove Calvin's car, you know. I I, I want people to remember that stuff, you know. Oh, I hope so, buddy. I hope I hope I haven't made any enemies. I don't think I had. Not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Not that they had they'll get over it, you know. Only when I passed Igor on the outside, man. <laughs> Now, when I talk to Billy, I'm going to have to ask him, hey, do you remember that time Chuck passed you on the outside? He said you got all mad about that. <laughs> he wa they watered the track, and I got up on this bank. And yeah. Like I said, there wasn't no guardrails back then. Yeah, yeah. And that daggone Vern crowded me one night. Ah, uh, Vern <laughs> wouldn't do that, would he? <laughs> <laughs> he hated for somebody to pass him, boy. Yeah. I can't remember. I remember... <clears throat> Vern and Pat having a lot of, lot of battles. I remember you and Vern having a lot of battles. I just feel like my childhood growing up, that, that 80s, man, that was just some of the best racing, especially here. You know, it was like every week there was good racing going on. You know, it, it, did, it didn't get bad. It got, I'm not going to say it got better, but, man, there was good races in the 90s. I mean, you look at the, the guys that was racing, you know, me and Jesse Lay were talking about the other day. It's like, you think about like man you had the mcwilliams and you had the lays and you had calvin Kendall's car and the greens and it's like man there was always 
good dirt late model racing here. For your here. cars. Yeah, always. Flor- Florence Speedway has been home with some good good racing. Sure. And I tell you something else, old Gilbert. Yeah. Man, he could spin you out so easy. <laughs> and you not even know it. Oh, man. He, he'd get underneath your left rear and bump yeah. it a little just, bit. Just a little touch. Here you're fighting, and he's gone. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> uh, he used to... He used to, he was from up around Milford or yep, somewhere. Yeah, Milford Goshen area. And uh, he had an old junk hauler. I mean, it was junk. He had a, he had a camper bolt to the top of it. <laughs> he'd leave on a weekend, go down to Kentucky, and clean up on two or three old tracks. <laughs> but he'd come here first. Yeah. He always brought an old car with him, but he had a ride with Duncan. Duncan. Yep and a couple other guys and if they didn't come he'd unload his car right well one night he unloaded a guy got out there and he was running second and hit him boy he got mad <laughs> but uh he, he said florence speedway is three and a half beers from my house <laughs> <laughs> you get mine out of, there's a little side park up here on yeah. 42 yeah he'd pull back here for an hour or two and <laughs> You know, he'd probably come come race at two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. 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 No. Six or eight hours. <laughs> oh man, there's that's that's it's, funny stuff. It's amazing how you can rethink things and Yeah. Well Chuck, man, I I I don't even know how to say thank you enough for coming on, taking the time, you know. This is it's been I'm totally geeked about this. I enjoyed this so much, you know, it just this is to me is really cool. How much do you pay? Uh, it's not very much. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I might be able to get Mona to throw us a couple cheeseburgers. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm probably swinging a couple cheeseburgers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But. You want something good to eat? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That, that that boy, he's he's expensive to feed. He don't eat, does he? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're, I'm gonna take him back to camp and give him something good here in a little bit. There you yeah, go. Yep. So. I bet that's fun. Oh, you yeah. build your fire. Oh yeah. Oh man. Yeah. I live too far away. I live over in Cincinnati, and it's too far for me to drive this every day. So, me and the wife, we bring our camper down here and set up and camp for about a week down here, and just well, make a vacation out of it. Let me tell you this real quick. We uh, we wanted to go to Atlanta. Okay. And uh, I bought an old school bus. Yeah. Boone Guy Schools. Yeah. We took county and put Boone County Fools, <laughs> and I got put a straight pipe on it. Yeah. Man, it was louder than any diesel you ever heard. It's right. a big old Ford. But we went down there, and you could rent a spot, and they put markers out like tombstones. Right. And I just cut one number on and put it somewhere else, <laughs> <laughs> and parked there, and, and, and not get caught doing it. No. <laughs> And you get up, they kids had, they'd run around half the night. Yeah. But uh, the old man had to go to bed. <laughs> but I think it put a thing on top so you get up there and sit. It yeah. was really neat. We did that about four years. Yeah. And uh, had a lot of fun doing that. And then, well, we parked back in number four corner, number two corner, and enjoyed the heck. Then they stopped it. Yeah. No, no bonfires, no flags. Take all the fun away. Oh man! Yeah, I think they they did that at Eldora a few years ago too. Man, that place used to be. I'm not saying we don't have fun there now, but man, back in the '90s, before before Tony bought it, and Earl still had the place. Man, you go up there all night and have fun and have campfires. And now you got to be all tame. You got to be good. And can't have too much fun. I got to <laughs> tell you this story. <laughs> we was parked up there in the campground tents and stuff around yeah. well i i had some pretty big m80s i always shot stuff off so <laughs> big fire sometimes you ever talk to mug of and he'll tell you yeah. i always catch him yeah donnie martin you remember him? yeah i remember old donnie yeah he was in a bathroom at tri county one time i rolled an m80 in there <laughs> <laughs> while he's in the bathroom he knocked the doors off coming out <laughs> but anyway i was up at eldora and I shot off a pretty big one. I had like a four inch one. Yeah. And it, it was, I put it, I couldn't find nothing to put it in. So I put in a piece of tile. 
<laughs> when it went off, it blew that tile out of shrapnel. Boy. Oh, man. And it went through this tent. <laughs> <laughs> and and some girl up. says, I told you they'd find us. <laughs> <laughs> this time, I was done going. Yeah, I'm gone. I'm out here. I told you they'd find us. <laughs> oh, um, man, that's a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun in racing, ain't they? If you do it right. If yeah. you do it. Yeah. Find it's, a way. Nowadays, though, it's, oh, it's, it's too tough. out of sight. It's tough, ain't it? Yeah. It's expensive. The motor's got high now. Everything's high. <laughs> Everything's high. Yeah. Yep. This stuff's expensive. Well, I enjoyed this. Well, Chuck, thanks, buddy. I, I appreciate you coming on and taking time, like I said, taking the time and sitting down and telling us some of your stories, man. This is. It's been pretty cool. Brought back a lot of old memories for yeah. me, too, you know. Well, what time are we eating? I don't know. I say, <laughs> we'll, we'll wrap up and go get us something. How about no, that? No, no, no. <laughs> so, uh, all right, folks. Well, we're going to we're gonna throw a checkered flag on this episode here with uh, Hall of Fame driver Chuck McWilliams here at Florence Speedway. And, man, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I know I have. I, I think Chuck's had some fun, too. While we, while I didn't we're know doing. what we was going to talk about. Hey, I'm doing all the talking. There's all kinds of stuff to talk about. Hey, man, <laughs> it's just sit down and record a conversation. <laughs> so, well, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys all liked it. We got thanks to the folks at the Hall, Dirt Late Model Hall of Fame for letting us do this and be a part of it. Um, stay tuned. We may catch James Essex in here one day and get us some stories with him. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>